For Kevin Parker, this was only enough synthetic drugs for one month. He started with synthetic marijuana, but it wasn't long before he tried synthetic cocaine, sometimes sold as bath salts at some stores. Parker says the drugs were never more than 10 minutes away since they're sold at so many head shops and corner stores. Inside, I didn't see it as a problem. Of course, that's denial and all that. Then I started breaking down and having physical problems, and now it's two years later and I'm pretty much on death's door. After he started using bath salts and other synthetics, Parker started having heart trouble and was in and out of the hospital. It's hard for many people to understand, but Parker says he was willing to smoke a chemical product labeled not for human consumption and continue even after he saw it destroying his life. You have that level of you're trying to fill a hole because something's missing in your life or you know maybe something that in your childhood or something like that. People do drugs for lots of different reasons and there's a, there's a level of don't care. There's an apathy there that like, well, you know, how bad can it be? 83 days ago, Parker decided it was too much and the drugs had done enough damage. Since then, he says he hasn't smoked bath salts or any other designer drugs. He says his synthetic drug use destroyed his health and his relationships with people he cares about. He carries one unopened package of synthetic marijuana with him every day as motivation to stay clean. I will show you this in a year from now or 10 years from now because um, I look at this every day and I remember how far I came and I will never open this package no matter what. Kevin Parker says he's hoping to talk to teens and law enforcement officers about the dangers of synthetic drugs and his experiences with them. For now, reporting from Utica, I'm Alex Dunbar.